All right, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I just realized I never introduced myself in my video intros ever. So my name is Jamie, and uh, later on you'll see my wife most likely in this video, and her name is Jamie as well. So just so you don't get confused, two Jamies. <laughs> anyway, um, today I'm going to do, be doing uh, some tilling of this uh, this little square patch here. <clears throat> I'm going to remove obviously the barbed wire that's in there, but uh, so I don't, I don't know if the garden will stay in this spot pr permanently, but. <clears throat> for now, we're going to till this area and get a garden started this year because I have to go back and forth to work and Jamie can, we're not going to utilize the whole patch here. We actually have somebody in our neighborhood here, not neighborhood, but uh, in, in, she's in actually about 20 minutes away. She's going to come up and use some of uh, the spot here for her own growing too because, uh, you know, we're going to trade stuff and all that. So she can help us. She knows a bit more about it than us. So anyway, that's what's going to happen. So hopefully I can uh, get down there quick enough and get back here because uh, it's already later in the day than I wanted. Uh, so we only have about four hours. So I'm hoping, hoping we can get that done in that time frame because I have to leave for British Columbia in the morning. Uh, but I want to get this done before I go. Uh, the garden may not stay there permanently <clears throat> because uh, I'm going to build a greenhouse. Excuse all the mess, guys, uh, in that area over there. Uh, along the fence will be some chicken coops, I believe. Eventually, this is a long-term process here, uh, but and then <clears throat> behind this section here and coming out that way is gonna be a big greenhouse I believe I want to do it there. It may change location. I don't know why I keep saying believe <laughs> It's gonna happen. I'm just not sure if it's gonna be in that particular spot. So But yeah, uh, yeah, so let's go with this and uh, I'll head to town and go grab the tiller No, 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 you stay inside. Come on. Hi guys! I got no treats for you right now. So no, no treats. There's reindeer, so it's kinda Hi Eddie. What's up, buddy? Kinda boy. What are you doing on the ground? Kick her out. Screw. So I found uh -oh. some eggs underneath the coop. Uh-oh. And normally I collect them, but they were warm. So then I was nervous that they were already developing. So I put them in here and she's been sitting on them and sometimes the other two take turns right. with her. Not you. This one and Mama were taking turns with her. And then today, look at that. Oh no. So. Well, be careful, be very careful. Is there one? Oh wow, look at you. So <laughs> she's gonna have to come inside, I think. Oh because wow. Look at you, you're fluffy as hell. So I think she should come inside because I'm worried she doesn't have the ability just to take her. They well, usually would need to be separated. Well, honestly, I, we should bring them inside because I'm worried there's so many birds here and roosters and stuff yeah. that we don't want her getting hurt. If we have, if we had more room in the coops outside or the red barn We'd separate coops, her. We'd just put her in there. Good job, ladies. The first chick. The first chick born in your guys' coop. Yes. Get you back though. Tell, tell me, buddy. Stay there. Good job, everybody. Good job. Watch your head. Don't get your head in there. Jeez. All right, you. Let's get you to the warmth. Let's get you to the warmth before you get too cold, eh? Here, get in there. There you go. Good girl. All right. Excuse the hair. <laughs> Need a haircut, and uh, I've been uh, dealing with this monstrosity. And no, I haven't fixed my truck yet. I am going to do that probably within this month. So I'm excited to get my truck back. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, I'll put a link to the video up here. Up here, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I got a tiller. A nice tiller. Uh, so we rented it. Hopefully we can get it back by today. Because then uh, I have to leave in the morning. So I don't want to have to drop it in the morning. But anyway, look at the... Uh, look at the dust. While we're driving down here. I had to leave this open and we were down the gravel road. That was not fun. And I forgot about that, so <laughs> great. Anyway, I put these uh, ramps up to get this out of here, so let's start that. It's touching now.
turn that off for a minute and then we'll go get the tractor so I can haul this stuff out of here. Okay, so I mowed it real quick. Rough patch of where we're gonna till. Now, we've never tilled before, so this could be totally wrong and I might have had to have done something different for the ground. Um, but this is what I'm gonna do, so let's see how it goes. Uh, yeah, it should be fun. I don't know how easy this will be, but I'll probably actually start, maybe I'll go up and down this way. Actually, you know what, I'll go up and down that way, it's easier. Okay, let's get this going here. So Jamie's gonna try now. I can barely even reach that. So over there. it should be an actually neutral right now because when you start it, you don't want it doing anything. Okay. Is that when you're tilling, just put it full bore, okay? okay? Now try to keep it straight down the path. Okay. So this is speed. Keep your feet out of there. Yeah. Okay. And then once you go to stop, let go, and then we'll turn around. You have to put it in the f first. Okay. So or reverse, whatever you need to do. But then we'll start it. And then up. Hold on, no, you gotta hold one hand on there and pull down here. It's gonna start moving. Push down on it too, not hard. Just make sure you put pressure down. Keep it straight. There. I know. No, you're not, to the left a little bit. Makes life a lot easier though, doesn't it? It's a wieldy machine, but man, look at it go. I mean, look at this. Look at that, go over it twice. Get down to the ground, not be bad. Problem is the weeds. I think we're gonna have to tarp it. Okay, okay then when you get near it, stop, let go of the bar. Yeah. Let, let go of the bar. Yeah. There. Now, first, and watch, move over. You do it now, I'll get the right. Watch, you can turn it, lift up on it, and it'll turn. See? Oh, I'll get okay, I'll continue. Okay, so I've done two passes up and down, and then I'm gonna do a third. I started the one, two rows here. I'm gonna go back and forth, and that should be good enough to get it started. Over here, it's really nice and soft. So I think we're good. And uh, once we put the tarps over, it kills off all this greenery. Uh, we'll still have a weed problem for a while after that probably, but over time we'll get it under control and then by the time we do that it'll be time to move the garden but <laughs> anyway this is a learning experience for us right we've never done this stuff before i actually grew stuff when i was a little tiny kid funny enough but obviously nothing major so third time done I'm actually gonna do it a fourth time just back and forth here again I have a little bit more time I should be able to do that in half an hour and then we have time to drop it off so um, I'm gonna do that and then 
if you guys notice one nice thing all these rocks here are from over here we don't have rocky ground here really nice now i'm not sure how good this ground is for growing it looks okay and they have farms all around us so i'm assuming it's decent now it'll need work probably obviously and i think it's pretty good so and it's getting a lot softer so when we come back later after I drop off that i won't bore you with more footage of that uh we'll put the tarps down then i think it's looking pretty good you know after all these uh grass weeds and or weeds and all that are gone and the grass is gone out of there it's a pretty nice sized little plot for us to start with like i say we're going to probably have a lady come here that will use some of the space too so we got our hose right there so i can set up an irrigation system temporarily if i need to it's the reason why we put it over here and not behind the shop on the other side yeah everything's just close to here right now i'm gonna hopefully hopefully i'll fix over there with this water and all that stuff but just takes time right so oh and i forgot to mention that the pig pen we were going to use for uh the garden which still be a possibility in the future uh but we're going to get some other things going over there as well soon so that may not be a thing we're doing but technically it should have went there with all the poop and i could have ground it uh, tilled it into the ground but we can't move their pen anymore because it's all going to fall apart and then we have to move them to fresh grass soon and i'm going to go have to go away for two weeks to uh you see again so i think for now that's on hold and we're going to leave them there unfortunately until we can get them a new pen that i have to build to them because uh the greenhouse fell apart in the winter so low quality from uh anyway, great quality so anyway that's why we're not doing over there like i was saying before is because we just don't have the time this year so we want to get something started and this is the way we're going to go Okay, so that makes it easier with the cyst. Now I just have to take this off. The lady was kind enough to take the old one off because I couldn't get it out of there. So we could take this post off. Now that dust in the previous video I showed at the front of the car is from this hatch being open while we drive down the gravel roads. So that is not entirely fun. That's why I wanted to get it all done in one day. I just realized I'm yelling in the microphone, sorry guys. I wanted to get this done in all in one day, which it should be anyway, but because then I can dust out the car and when I leave tomorrow, I don't have to get all dusty in the morning because I don't want to drive in that all day for 12 and a half hours. Anyway, okay, let me get the rest of this in. This is going to come off. It's kind of a weird little setup I got on this thing. Oops. I'll make sure I don't touch anything. It's freaking boiling hot. Oh, I better turn. Uh, that off and the gas off too last time I when I picked it up the gas was on still There we go All right got that out I'm gonna put this together so I don't lose the pieces because I'm sure that's a pricey little piece I just uh, touched the motor and that's not hot even though we just turned it off which surprises me And it folds down enough. I can close my hatch now if I would have only known that in the way here we wouldn't have had this issue of getting all dusty in the car again because I just finished cleaning it out from the last time I had to do that. So, uh, let's move these. Uh, don't drive all of them. Um, yeah, so that, that's a massive. I wish I would have spent more time at the place. I'm in a rush today though, just to get this done in time. But there we go. No dust on the way home. I just have to clean off all that. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay, so we're back now. Drop that off. Now it's got a tarp it. Looks so much better now. Wow, amazing. Did not take long at all either. Take like an hour and a half probably at the most. And that was doing it four times, so that's five, yeah. Four times, so that's not too bad. Alright, let's get this tarped. I got Buff, and we'll show you her little nubs. She's got them bandaged still. 
But uh, we're gonna should take those off actually soon. Yeah. The little bandages. Well, I put them on. These are new ones I put on last week. Okay, anyway, so they're should... scabbed over underneath. But they, they're just really sensitive, so oh, I okay. thought this would be padding. Hey. Yeah. All right. She's all dirty because she's been laying down. So we're gonna put her in here. And unfortunately, it's gonna get a little windy. It's been a little windy today, but. She needs some food and water. I brought yeah, I'll give her food and water and everything. Yeah, got your new place for you. Your new digs. Uh, and I brought you an egg. Oops. Look, it already broke. Oh, that backfired. She's trying oh. to leave. Oh. oh, you eating the grass? Yeah, she haven't eaten. She's on my field trip. Okay, I'm going to get her some water. It's your field trip. It's more than a field trip this time, sweetheart. It's the next step in your <laughs> progression, hopefully. you got lots of grass in your pen here, too. What's the door? Yeah. Yes, go get your egg. Look at the egg. You're gonna hop around. Okay, you can like, walk around. I don't care. Walk around a little bit. Yeah. It's okay. You can venture out. We have things to do though, so you have to go in your pen pretty quickly. Yes, you'll have to go in your pen soon. <laughs> She's funny. Oh, the rooster will be. Yeah. Anyway, trying our best to, you know, make her survive. She can survive individually for sure. It's just like, we can't keep her in the house or keep her somewhere, so. Got to get you a place where you thrive. And we're gonna put another chicken in there in a day or so. Once she gets used to it a little bit, we'll put another uh, hen with her. I'm giving her some treat food too. Yeah, get you another hen, or another hen with you, right, sweetheart? Get you some company for once. Yeah. Yeah. I have to get a docile one that won't pick on you though. That's good. All right, just put some DE on her. I'm gonna put this Make sure there's no lice or anything. Help prevent it. Because we did get a few when the coop was here with them, so we had to DE them. And they're fine now, we've been checking. But uh, and we did spray some stuff in there previous to letting yeah. her in, so to clear out the anything that may be in there from all of those girls. Those girls, we've had great help. Yeah, they've been really good in there, actually. But anyway, this one, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let her walk around a little bit, and she's been DE'd. She likes her grass. Must be, like, gorgeous for her to be outside. And yes, we know that most people wouldn't do this, but <laughs> this is what we do here. Every animal we take on, we try our best to, to fix or to help uh, the best we can. Uh, within reason, you know, we're not gonna spend no 10 grand on a chicken or nothing like that, but uh, anything we can do that is reasonable, we will do it. And this is pretty reasonable. So. And frostbite can be, we know frostbite is very painful for them, but we did have Medicam um, in our first, like our pet first aid kit. So she did have painkiller to get yeah, through first, it. Yeah, at first, yeah. She had some painkillers to get through it. And the, the vet said that's okay for chickens too. That's what the vet too, said so. to do. And we just had some, so why not, right? So. And it did help her because she was like that. That had to have been painful. She's losing your feet. Imagine losing your feet to frostbite without the surgeon or yeah. it's insane to me. But look at her go. Like that's why another reason why we want to help her so much because if she can fight through that, she deserves a, a break. You know, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Not a lot of people would have made her dinner, but how can you make that dinner? Look how cute she is. <laughs> he is cute. Yes. He's cute puppy. All right. Okay, we'll let you feast out here for a bit before we put you in the pen. <laughs> yeah. You have treats in there too. Lots of food in there for you, eggs and everything. So eat better than we do. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> oh, do you hear him? Yeah, probably. Okay, so I thought we had a few 20 foot tarps left, 20 by 20s or whatever they were, but I realized they're up there. So on the pig pen there. So we got only this much done. But worst case scenario, we'll move it over. We're not planning on having a huge crop this year anyway or anything, we're just getting started. And I'm not gonna leave, or I'm not gonna throw some wood up here because I think these will be fine. Unless we get a big windstorm or something. Worst case scenario, they get ripped out of the ground, no big deal. So that's all we got done. So that's all we have, but it's one third of it roughly, a little less than one third. So we can move it over a few times and uh it'll work it's just an experiment anyway i'm pretty sure this is the way a lot of people do this but you know it's all a learning process so i can see if i can go over here because buddy the rooster is on the pigs or on howie again 
because they're confused about their whole scenario over there. But uh, let's see if I can sneak up here. All day. Woody, the little white and red one, the white one, uh, Buddy, and there's another sly baby too. We haven't named him, but uh, he's kind of gray and all that too. He, those three hang around the pigs all day long, just like that. I follow them everywhere. So anyway, it's kind of funny, but uh, all right, well that's it for that, and uh, I'll try to get Jamie to update you, do some recordings. I don't know if it'll be in this video or not. But uh, she's going to plant some stuff after. I had it away for a couple weeks, like I said. Hopefully just a couple weeks for now, but I doubt that. So uh, she'll move it as well when gone. And uh, that'll be in the next video. We'll keep updating you. we got so much stuff on the go here that you're going to get tons of videos. I know I've been lackluster in my videos lately. Uh, please forgive me. Just been running around. Um, I am recording stuff, though, so it just may be a bit delayed, unfortunately. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And as usual, there'll be trail cam or game cam, whatever you want to call it, footage at the end of the video. So please stay tuned. Thank you.